The GPT store by OpenAI is absolutely blowing up right now, and if you're not taking advantage, you really should be. First, I'm gonna tell you all about the biggest criticism I hear about the GPT store and why this is absolutely all wrong. Then I'm gonna share with you four awesome custom GPTs to help you become a better writer. GPTs that'll help you write better essays, create marketing copy just from an image, create better SEO for anything, and even a GPT that's gonna help you turn your AI writing that sounds like a robot into something that sounds like a person. First, the biggest criticism I hear about custom GPTs is I hear people tell me all the time, why do I need this? Like, you can just do this straight inside of chat GPT. And to me, the answer is obviously. Obviously, you can do this inside of chat GPT. Custom GPTs are built inside of chat GPT. They use the GPT engine. It makes sense. You can't have one without the other. But to me, they're neglecting some of the issues that we face when you just start with a blank chat GPT window. There are two things that come to mind for me. One is quality of the responses and time. Let me break this down for you. For anyone who's even experimented a little bit with ChatGPT, we know that sometimes the responses can be like a little bit lacking. You may not be getting the best response. It may not be totally accurate. You may be having to spend a lot of time and dialogue back and forth to get what you want. The custom instructions help a little bit with this, but then you have to have a new set of custom instructions for every single task you want to accomplish. Or sometimes you have to open a new chat window and start the conversation over because ChatGPT remembers your history and it's getting totally confused with things you've already talked about versus things you want now. Anyway, you see where this is going. Custom GPTs alleviate all of this. They save you a ton of time and they ensure you're getting super accurate responses. They're created by someone who has already figured out how to solve the problem that you're facing. So you don't have to worry about getting super accurate custom instructions or creating a persona for chat GPT. Somebody has already done this for you. All you have to do is go to these GPTs, find one that suits the task and the thing that you're trying to accomplish, and then just get to work. There's no longer the time and the effort that's going to take you to try to get the optimal result because, again, somebody has already figured out how to do this for you. Now let's jump right in. I'm gonna show you my four favorite custom GPTs to help you become a better writer. The first GPT we're gonna talk about today is the All Around Writer, the professional version by Kevin Ivory. This is a professional writer who specializes in writing all types of content. It'll write essays, novels, articles, and copywriting. This is great for blog posts. This is great if you're a student who needs help writing an essay. You can just come here and Kevin Ivory has already figured out everything for you. There's some interesting conversation starters down here at the bottom. Craft 10 copywritings about iPhone 15 Pro Max. Write a paper about AI LLM in sci-fi format. Write a magical cultivation of fairies novel step-by-step. Step. Write an unconventional love letter to the one I love. That's kind of fun. One of my favorite tricks that I like to do with these GPTs, it's not always entirely clear everything that it can do right off the bat. So what I like to do just to come in, I say, tell me everything you can do. This is one of my favorite things to do with these GPTs, so I know exactly what I'm getting into, and I know how to make the best use of what's being presented to me. So here we go. Hello, as all-around writer, I specialize in creating a wide range of content with a structured and professional approach. Here's what I can do for you. Professional scientific papers, novels and creative writing, vivid and literary articles, eye-catching copywriting. Then it goes down here into a little bit more about how it's structured and the approach that it takes. I always start with an outline to ensure a well-organized final product. This is great. I love when GPT start with an outline because then we can kind of dialogue and fine tune it in the outline stage before we actually get into the writing. So let's take one of the prompts and see how this thing does. Let's say, write me a blog post about the new Apple iPhone 15 Pro. It was great. It says, certainly let's outmend the blog post first and then proceed with the initial part. So literally in just a couple seconds, we have this whole outline here for us and already it's gone ahead and started writing this. So first, it's going to start off with the introduction. It's going to mention the iPhone its evolution. It's going to introduce it as the latest innovation. It's going to talk about the design and the display, the performance and the hardware. It's going to talk about all the innovations in the camera, the user experience and the software, all the unique features that come with it. And then it's going to get a little more into the, the details about price and availability. And then again, we're going to end with the conclusion. This is great. This is an awesome format for a blog post. Really strong. Let's see what it looks like. Exploring the wonders of the new Apple iPhone 15 Pro. The iPhone has consistently redefined the boundaries of technology and design in the smartphone world. With each new iteration, Apple has pushed the envelope, delivering devices that not only captivate users, but also set new industry standards. What's really great about this, this sounds like a person. This doesn't sound like ChatGPT writing to you. Oftentimes when we get into creative writing or writing of any kind with ChatGPT, it can sound really robotic. 
And it actually takes a lot of work to break free from that and get something that sounds more human. So literally in 30 seconds, I created not only an outline for something, but I created an entire blog post. This is ready to go. I can literally just copy and paste this into a blog, create some accompanying visuals to go for it and hit post. Then down here at the bottom, it gives us guidance for the next part to talk about the camera innovations, software and user experience and any unique features. And if I want, I can change those up and tell it I want something different, or I can literally just say continue and it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna start writing those next sections for me. If you wanna install this GPT, just come up to explore GPTs. You can just go into the search bar, type all around writer. And you know, up here, this first one, by Kevin Ivory, go ahead and click that. It's gonna open up a new chat window for you and you can start creating. Next up, we got Sell Me This Pen by Active Solutions. Create secondhand marketplace listings based on pictures. All we gotta do is start by uploading a picture. We can, if we want, go through my little hack and type in, tell me everything you can do, but this one seems so straightforward that I'm just gonna go ahead and upload a picture and see what results we get. So I'm just gonna go ahead and upload this picture of this really cute sweatshirt featuring some dachshunds with a little flower pattern. Super cute, let's see what this does. Already recognizes that it's a dachshund, love that charming dachshund sweatshirt. Embrace the coziness of the season with this adorable dachshund themed sweatshirt. Perfect for pet lovers and those who appreciate a touch of whimsy in their wardrobe. Love the alliteration. For some reason, ChatGPT seems to love alliteration. This comfortable and stylish piece is sure to become a go-to in your casual collection, whether you're enjoying a relaxed day at home or out for a casual meetup with friends. Let this sweatshirt's playful design add a spark of joy to your day. Then it gives a little bit of specification, the category, women's clothing, sweatshirts and hoodies. Sand is the color. Uh, it's not clear to it what the country is, and it's not specific what the material is, but I'd say if you're running a print-on-demand shop or something like that, and you want to start creating copy for product descriptions, this is a really great start. You can just go ahead and copy and paste this and throw this right into whatever store you're using to sell your products from. What I love about these GPTs is that there's a clear specific function for them. I don't need to bother training this GPT. I don't need to give it a persona. I don't need to give it custom instructions because somebody has already taken the time to do that for me. I can just go in, give it a little bit of input and get back the results that I'm trying to get without having to stress and spend a lot of time trying to figure it out. This is clearly a highly repeatable process. If you want, you could do this for 100 images. Just upload a bunch of images, get descriptions, copy and paste them into your store or wherever else you're trying to get descriptions for. If you want to install this GPT, just come over to Explore GPTs, go to the search bar, type in Sell Me This Pen, no spaces. You can get Sell Me This Pen by Active Solutions, that first one there. Click on it, it's going to open up a new window, and you can start creating. Next up, we got Fully SEO Optimized Article, including FAQs. This is by Mohamed Talda. I love that it has FAQs, super cool. Yoast and Rank Math SEO Optimized, 100% unique, plagiarism-free content. This actually gives you a lot of details on what this does. Up to 1,500 plus words articles with FAQs and conclusion. Really great. We're going to use my little hack here to try to figure out everything that this can do uh, before we go ahead and get started. Tell me everything you can do. So this is really interesting here from the developer. Get lifetime access to my private prompt library and this link. I don't know what that is. I haven't clicked it myself. What's cool about the GPT store by OpenAI is that it's creating lots of opportunity for new users to actually make some money here are some of the things that it can do. Comprehensive article outlines. It can develop detailed outlines for long form articles on specified keywords. They'll have at least 18 engaging headings and subheadings ensuring thorough coverage of the topic. That's a lot. Trust me, I've played around with ChatGPT a lot for blog writing and it's usually actually really limited in its approach even if you specify a certain number of words that you want your article to be. It's great for long form article writing. It can utilize the outline and write detailed long form articles, a minimum of 2000 words. The writing style is creative, human-like, and tailored to grade seven English proficiency. What's great about this is that you're gonna get something that sounds smart, but isn't so overwhelming and technical for people. It's gonna be really relatable and understandable. Everything is SEO optimized and SEO friendly with high attention to keyword density and strategic placement of keywords in the titles, metadata descriptions, and throughout the content. This is really hard to do and doing this manually yourself would take you a lot of time. Everything is going to be unique, engaging, and designed to pass AI detection tests. So it's going to sound real. It's going to sound normal. It's going to sound like you wrote it. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's say create an article on if dogs can eat cheese. And in just a couple seconds, it's already started creating this outline for us based on the prompt that I gave it. I gave it a really broad prompt, did not give it a lot of detail, and already it's got to work doing a lot of research for us and creating a really thorough and in-depth outline. This is very, very impressive. 
So if we go to the top, you can see it really honored what it said. When I asked it, tell me everything you can do, it's actually creating 18 sections for us. An introduction to canine diets and cheese, the nutritional profile of cheese, lactose tolerance in dogs, safe cheese consumption, the risks of feeding cheese to dogs, cheese as a training treat, healthy snacks, et cetera, et cetera. This is really, really thorough. I'm very impressed with this. And if we scroll down here, you can see it's already begun writing the article for us. It's taken that outline from above and it's gone ahead and fleshed that out with a lot more detail and put it in a really fun and engaging style that sounds really natural and human-like. When it comes to feeding our canine companions, it's essential to strike a balance between nutrition and indulgence. Cheese with its tempting aroma and taste often catches the eye and nose of our four-legged friends, but can dogs eat cheese without any repercussions? This article delves into the role of cheese in a dog's diet, exploring its nutritional benefits and potential risks. This is great. Then it goes on to give us more information based on the outline from above. We can go ahead and ask it to give us more detail if you'd like, or we can ask it to remove sections. This is still chat GPT. This is still live. This is still a dialogue. So we can go ahead and fine tune this however we want. If you want to install this GPT, just come into your sidebar, go to explore GPTs, go over to the search bar and type in fully SEO. That's all you need to type in. And the first one here is fully SEO optimized article, including FAQs by Muhammad Talha. You can go ahead and just click that. It's going to open up a new chat window and you can start creating. The last GPT we're going to talk about is the Humanizer Pro by charliegpts.com. This is the number one humanizer in the market. It writes text like a human, avoiding AI detection, humanizes your content to bypass the most advanced AI detectors, et cetera, et cetera. So this is really great if you already have some existing content or if you've worked with ChatGPT before and you want to make something that sounds a little bit more realistic. So if you've already written an essay or you've already written a blog post or you've already written product descriptions, whether you've done that using AI or just by yourself, you can put this in here and can get a totally new output from it. So here it says, paste the text you want to humanize. So we can just go ahead and paste that right in, or we can use this conversation starter. So what I'm going to do just to test this out is I'm actually just going to create a blank regular chat GPT window, and I'm going to ask it to write me an article. And then we're going to take that article and bring it on over into the humanizer to see how it's going to rewrite it to create a much more human and natural tone. So I'm going to say, write me an article about the rise of Netflix. Everybody knows the story of Netflix. It started off as a DVD rental company and then became the world's largest streaming service. Really, truly an incredible story. Without a lot of information for the GPT, it gave us this article. Netflix Inc., a household name synonymous with online streaming, has transformed the entertainment landscape. This article explores Netflix's journey from a DVD rental service to becoming a leading global streaming platform, reshaping how audiences consume television and films. Then it goes on to give us a little more history, the transition to streaming, their expansion into original content and in internationally, so on and so on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy all of this. Now I'm gonna bring this into the humanizer and we're gonna copy and paste this in and we're gonna see how the humanizer rewrites this. Okay, so we're back in the humanizer. I'm just gonna click paste the text you want to humanize and it says, sure, please provide the text you'd like to have humanized. Now I'm just gonna take that article that we had ChatGPT write, gonna paste it in, gonna click enter. And we're gonna let the humanizer get to work. It's starting the action. This lets me think that it's either connecting to some online API or that it's connecting to its knowledge base. For those who aren't familiar, the knowledge base is basically is basically a private area where whoever designed the GPT can input certain information to help it with this process. So you can import ex great examples of writing with natural human tone, or you can input a database with a thousand viral hooks to start at the top of your article. So this is interesting. It did ask me if I wanted to sign up for this feature. And so I went ahead and clicked yes and just signed up with my Google account. It was really easy. It took no time. But if you don't want to do that, I totally understand. But in order to use this GPT, that is something you're going to have to do. It didn't cost me anything. It was totally free. Presumably, it's just a way for the developer to collect emails and maybe be in touch with this in the future. This is the world we're living in. This happens all the time. Let's go ahead and see what it spits out. Netflix Inc. is a common term in many household entertainment dictionaries that represent the new form of online streaming, which has definitively transformed the movie and television consumer delivery experience. That is a serious sentence. This is obviously very professional sounding. If that's what you're into, I'm all for this. Maybe it doesn't sound as natural, or if you wanted it for you know, essay writing for a college paper or something like this, this maybe sounds a little too professional for that, but I really like the output so far. The following papers shall enlighten the process of change that revolutionized Netflix from being just a DVD rental service to one of the most recognized streaming platforms worldwide today. You can go ahead and read the rest of this if you'd like. I'm not sure which version I like better. Let me know in the comments which version of this script do you like better. If you want to install the humanizer, just kind of come up into Explore GPTs, go into the search bar, type in Humanizer Pro. It's going to be the first one right here by Charlie GPTs. Go ahead and click that going to open up a brand new window for you and you can start creating.
So you can see this is why I love custom GPTs. If there's something really specific you're trying to achieve, it's a lot better than using just a blank chat GPT window. It's going to give you really accurate results. It's going to be perfectly tailored for your task at hand. It's going to be way easier to use, and it's going to save you a ton of time. If you want to learn more about some cool custom GPTs, just check out this link right here.